this morning's Health Watch, preventing holiday heartburn. 60 million Americans suffer from it at least once a month, and this time of year is just a nightmare waiting to happen. Dr. Jennifer Ashton's here to help us avoid the burn. Great to see you, Jen. Good morning, Rebecca. Happy holidays. You and too. Yeah, thank you. They can be uh, a little unhappy at moments. What's the cause of this heartburn? Well, it doesn't really have anything to do with your heart, and it may not really be caused by those annoying relatives that we <laughs> tend to be around during the holiday season. But if you look at some basic anatomy, the heart and the esophagus and the stomach sit very close to each other in the chest and in the upper abdomen. And basically, there's a ring of muscle at the bottom of the esophagus where it meets the stomach that can become relaxed and it allows all of the acid that your stomach is normally producing to be kind of pushed up into the esophagus. And boy, if you've ever had this, Rebecca, it mm -hmm. is painful. It gets your attention. I have, and it seems counterintuitive that something relaxes and then the heartburn comes on. Yep, but exactly. you also say that food has major issues with heartburn too. Exactly. I mean, stress can be a little bit of a factor, but basically there are some big food triggers. They do differ for everyone, but they can mm -hmm. be the type of common foods that we're all facing in the holiday season. And really it can range from alcohol in the form of your cocktail to caffeine, whether that's coffee, tea, or soda. Chocolate is a big food trigger. Spicy sauce or even citrus foods and of course fatty foods anything fried can really tend to irritate this problem besides avoiding food triggers what else can you do to keep this from happening well basic lifestyle things that you can modify in your behavior day to day can really make a big difference the first one is if you smoke stop it's not only bad for your heart your brain your lungs but it's bad for your esophagus and your stomach don't overeat because if you really distend your stomach it's going to make more acid and the pressure is going to push that acid up into the esophagus. Try to avoid eating two to three hours before you know you're going to go to sleep because again then you're mostly lying down mm -hmm. in a flat position and that just the gravity works against you and then to continue on with gravity if you notice that this problem is worse at night or worse when you're sleeping actually elevating the head of your bed by about six inches can mm -hmm. really help also again gravity effect. An interesting point if you're already doing all these things and you're still dealing with heartburn what's the next stop? Well then we get tend to go to the medical tra treatment or therapy and you can really do this with basic over-the-counter therapies anything from Tums or Rolaids you know basic antacids to classes of medication known as H2 blockers or proton pump inhibitors they're sold under the names of Pepsid, Prilosec if those don't work then yes your doctor can write a prescription for something a little stronger but if you're suffering from this problem more than twice a week and it continues for a couple of weeks you've tried all these things and those things aren't working you really need to see your doctor. And I think the statistics or something like 15 million have more chronic heartburn, exactly. acid reflux problems, and that can actually contribute to more significant issues as far as health goes. Absolutely, and we have to also remember this is not just a problem that we see in people as they age. It can be seen in children. It can be seen in pregnant women. So this is pretty widespread, and the real concern here is that if this problem goes untreated, the exposure of the acid to your esophagus can be very dangerous. It can mm. predispose you to esophageal cancer, and that can be a major problem. Trivial things, so to speak, that this can also be connected to anything from asthma, cough, hoarseness, mm. sore throat. These things are so widespread, and a lot of times people don't connect them. It's really a reflux heartburn problem. So we want people to enjoy the holidays, but be careful. Yes, and you're helping us be careful. Thank you so much, Dr. You bet, Jennifer Rebecca. Ashton. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you, too.